Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Crystal with Luxury Spile K. And today I will be showing you guys um, some products that I bought from Alta today. I wanted to share with y'all just to kind of get your feedback, what you think of it. I have some of the products on, so we'll jump right into it. So the first thing that I got is this um, Fit Me by Maybelline. And I got it in the number 335, which is Classic 10. Now, I didn't use it today. I don't have it on today because I did a swatch on my hand and I let it dry next to what I normally use. And when it dried, it gave me more like a matte, um, which is what I wanted, the matte, but it was a matte cracking, drying type thing. And I didn't want to go that route. I have oily skin, so I wanted to get a matte. That's why I seek this one out. Um, and I may try it again, but um, I'm gonna switch the color. I think this is a little too light for me, so I didn't use this today. Instead, what I used was the Japanese. Um, love this because I have sensitive skin, so this seemed to work for me. I've been using it for about a year and a half now, and it works. Unlike MAC products, um, it gives you a full coverage this one just like MAC does but MAC breaks me out tremendously my skin is super sensitive so this is perfect for me and this is the Japanese in number nine number nine so this is my skin tone I love this stuff okay next up I bought infallible long wear shaping stick and this is a foundation I thought was a a contour stick but obviously it's not but it still worked for me it gave me I did a little contour today I did everything super light today um I just kind of tried these products out and I'm trying to get out of the door but I wanted to um, do this video with you guys today yeah today is Sunday fun day and um I should have been out of the door a long time ago Meg in there he's waiting on me but I snuck and did this video for y'all I got like a deep a deep medium deep color because you know when you contour you want to go deeper so I just kind of put that here and I love it so far I mean even though it's a foundation that I now know of um, it still works love this next up would be the revolution um, baking powder in banana. I use this to bake. So um, this powder is very good. Um, it gave me that finished um, matte look that I wanted, that I was going for. However, what I would say about this powder and my first time using it, it was hard to dust off. I would um, dust it off and a little bit of it still left behind. So I don't know what that was about. Um, I don't know if it's, it didn't mix well with my, um, with my foundation, my liquid foundation, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try it again because it did give me the, the color that I was going for, but um, yeah, no, I don't know. But this was $13, I wanna say, 13 give y'all all the prices on the other stuff. We'll go back and do that. Next up, I got the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. Now, this is my first time using this. Um, a guy in Ulta, he suggested this besides getting the actual Beauty Blender. And what he said was the Beauty Blender um, is, is hard. So I was like, okay, why not? I'll try this. And guys, oh my God, it's a little, it's wet, so it's swollen. It's a little bit, um, it's normally smaller than this, but because I wet it and used it today, you know, it swells up. But anywho, guys, this thing is super soft, super soft. And what I like about it, because it is a contour and highlight um, sponge, it has the, um, the flat, 
on both sides. It's flat on both sides, so it makes it easier for you to either go here with it or mainly for your contour to go here with it. Love that, and then on this side, it gives you more of a point. That's what I was going for, so I can really get right here in the tear duct. For when I'm putting on my concealer or my um, my baking powder, I can really get in the tear duct right there. So I love this again, guys. This is the Morphe um, Contour and Highlight um, Sponge. It's not a beauty blender, but what I like about it too is I put a little bit on a little bit of my um, foundation with this, and it does not soak up the foundation like a um, beauty blender does. That's what I noticed as well. So this may become my best friend. Um, it's super soft, like I said, guys. Love it. I love this. Next up would be the Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M439 brush. And I mainly got this for my foundation. I needed a type of stip stippling brush. And I love Morphe brushes because they're very compact. So my foundation went on effortlessly with this. And then again, this is the Morphe 439 brush. Um, love it. So when I put my foundation on, it went on so freaking flawless, guys. Oh my God. And then I also used it for my um, contour too. I did that last because, um, just because. But yes. And last but not least, I got this. This is the Morphe Continuous Mist um, Setting Spray. Guys, oh my God, I love this stuff. I'm in love. What I love mostly about it is because of the fine mist that comes out. Unlike a um, those other setting sprays, um, the setting sprays, they give you, they come out like a spray and it leaves you with like, um, what, what am I looking for? It leaves you with like a wetness over your face. So it'd be like clumps of wetness and then you have to fan it out or pat it out with your beauty blender. Unlike this, it does not come out like that, and I'm gonna show y'all. Hope y'all can see it on camera, but I'll just shake it a little bit and go. Oh! I love it. It's like a mist, and see, as you can tell, it's not leaving those wet splotches over my face. It even smells good, and I'm hoping that it doesn't contribute to any acne or anything because of the smell, but it smells it smells really good. Continuous setting spray. I like this stuff. Get it. Love it. And that's it, guys. All of the products that I showed you, I did put on my face today, except for the foundation. And that's because, like I said, it just didn't, um, I didn't think it was my color, and it didn't give me the look that I was going for. So I said I was gonna give you guys the price and I'll be using those products again in future videos. Um, I'll do a full makeup look with them, like I said today, with something quick, easy, and you know, let's get out the door. My man is probably in there like, what's going on? I'm ready to go. You know how men are. So hopefully this video helped you um, in some way figure out which foundation you can now use um, your contour different ways that you can use the infallible stick as we see you can use it as a contour as well and it worked out perfect for me um, I like the look it worked out perfect so yes guys that concludes this video once again do not forget to hit that notification bell Comment below what other videos you want to see on this channel. This channel will consist of all things luxury. That's the um, that's the route we're trying to go here. So for the most part, for the bulk of it, um, you'll see um, hair and lash videos, how tos, different makeup looks, using the lashes, things like that. Um, but I also um, would 
would like for you guys to get to know me just a tad bit better um, on a more personal level. So I want to share with you guys different hauls, outfit of the day, um, uh, th different things like that. So just let me know. Um, let me know guys down in the comment box what you uh, want to see. And also guys, do not forget to follow us on Instagram. I'll link everything below. So um, you'll be able to search us, find us, follow us. And again, guys, that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank all of my supporters of Luxury Follow K. Without you guys, we could not do this. I, I want you to know that you're very appreciated. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. So like I said, um, follow us, turn your notification bell on. And we'll see you in the next video. Until next time, slay game, slay game.